This parcel of land east of Lalomalos Boulevard is known as Bradley's Bank in Santa Elena Town, approximately 20 acres. The plot of land was once an orchard and part of an estate managed by Tony Vera. But back in 1999, the property was sold to Cayo Development Company Limited, whose shareholders were Michael Castillo and Santiago Mendoza. The company later acquired two titles for the property, which was divided by an access road back in 2002. Since 2014, at least 15 families have either purchased land with titles or are in the process of becoming title holders for plots that had been parceled off and issued to them by their area rep. Eusebia Romero and Ana Franco have been living in the area with their families for the past two years. They have invested their life's earnings and labor into the place they call home. We have been working our land for two years ago and I don't think he can come and just say well, that's for us because we have invested a lot of money here and um, work and he just can't just come and take off what we have worked here. How did you get the property? The minister gave us our papers, our lease and that's how we get it. We, we didn't come just taking our land by ourselves. It's the minister that gave it to us. I went to the minister and tried to get a piece of land, you know. And well, I, and they give me this this piece of land here. Two and years ago, you said. Two years ago, yes. And um, I build, and now I'm living here. But knows a person came out that um, this is his, you know. And I just want to know what is happening because, you know, I'll always try, and to make this problem come like this. I don't know if, you know, we, what we want is just to solve something here and all of us live in peace, you know, mm -hmm. and that's it. I'm How many of you guys live here? Uh, me and my four children. Yes, I have a lease and um, I am paying for property too, you know, it, and I don't know, know what is happening. You mm -hmm. know, we just want answers and see what, what's going on, what mm -hmm. will be the result of this. As we visited the area today, there were many houses under construction. But for Alberto Palma, he has his title. He acquired legal documents to four parcels of land in the area back in March of 2014. So does Kyle Development Company Limited's 2002 title trump his? Yesterday evening around 5.30, I received a call from one of the other persons that live in the area. He asked me if I could please come there urgently because there's a person there that's claiming that he owns all the land. So immediately I went there and this man, this person was there and he told us that he is the owner of the land from 2002 and that he hasn't entered any arrangement with anyone to sell his land or, or you know, and when, when he, he says that when he came there he saw all his houses and he is, he is ready to fence up the place and close up the place and we were very, we were concerned about what he was saying. He have two titles, he brought copies for us to see. So I don't really know what the situation is back there. It's, it's, I don't know if it's how can he has title, he have title for all that land, and then we have title because we have bought this land from the government. But Mendoza says that in 2010, he received a letter from the government of Belize about the acquisition of the acreage as public land. Since then, he has been back and forth at the Lands Department trying to get an audience with the Lands Commissioner and even the Minister, but to no avail. On September 1st, however, he received a letter from the Ministry saying that, quote, the Land Registrar requests the surrender of Land Certificate Number 1346-2002, unquote. He took his plight to the residence on Monday evening and this morning, and now they're concerned that they may have to leave their homes. I am paying my title, so I don't apply for my property. And um, I am paying for it, so. You've been paying two years and you said that it's three years, no? No, they give you three years to pay your property. And I've been paying it, so um, it's 1000 that you need to pay, but you can't pay it by installment. So mm -hmm, I've been paying it, so. We are concerned because he is saying that his title supersedes ours since he, is, he has an older title. And our concern also is that he is saying that he will block the access, he will fence his place because his attorney has advised him to do that. And we are concerned about that because we, we, we need to go in and out because we have investment there.
I'm concerned, yes. I'm concerned because this man come with sureness that is his, you know, and we just want to get answers from the minister. He showed you the documents even? Yes, we got, um, oh, the, the guy, yeah, mm -hmm. he showed us documents. I understand that how he, um, he's been asking you guys to, to vacate the property. Yeah, in a couple of days he said that we might, we should um, uh, evacuate and he's going to fence his acres, you know, and um, he's going to open some big, drain and so that no car or nobody come and come in and come out so you know you don't give we notice okay. yes we had a meeting with him actually yesterday and today this morning and um so we want to know what's going on this morning at a meeting with residents mendoza was escorted to the san ignacio police station after distress calls were made to the police of him aggressing residents doing moody for news five